The subject of today's video is one of the top running backs in school history, was at one time a five-star recruit coming out of high school, and has been one of the most prolific running backs in college football over the last few years. Unfortunately, that is not translating to his draft stock being super high. Right now, he's seen as a day two or day three selection, and in my opinion, this guy could be one of the biggest steals in the 2023 NFL Draft. Today, we're going to talk about who this is, go through his career, and why he could be so dangerous at the next level. But before we get started, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new here, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Now, let's get started. So you're probably wondering who the subject of today's video is, and it is none other than Auburn running back Tank Bigsby. But in order to understand why he could be the steal of the draft, we first need to go back in time. Obviously, his name isn't actually Tank, it's Cartavius. But why was he called Tank? Well, there are actually two stories to this. One was when he was just two years old, as he said his aunt and his father were responsible for it. It was because of his carefree and rambunctious nature, and they began calling him Tank, and it stuck. They just said he was like a tank when he was young, and he'd just run over stuff and run everything over. Another story came from when he was a few years older. When I was young, I was playing rec football, and I was six years old. I busted my head open and got stitches. My cousin called me Tank because I kept running. I've been Tank ever since then, and my mom even started calling me that. It's interesting because I found two different stories online of where the nickname originates, and I'm sure both of them happened. Soon enough, everyone was calling him Tank, and his playing style as a running back growing up in Georgia matched his nickname. He'd eventually arrive at Callaway High School in Hogansville, Georgia, and made a good impression on the staff early on, and got lots of reps. This got him on many schools' radar, including the home state Georgia Bulldogs, who had a pretty good reputation for developing and producing big-time running backs. He was compared to guys such as Sonny Michelle and DeAndre Swift, despite having the nickname of someone like Nick Chubb. Early on, he admitted in his recruitment that he thought he'd end up at Georgia, but that is not how it would play out. He ran for over a thousand yards as a sophomore, and continued on the next year as well. As a junior, Bigsby ran for more than 1,000 yards while splitting carries with another future Division I player. This didn't stop him or big schools from pursuing him though. Auburn, LSU, and South Carolina all got official visits from Bigsby, and it seemed no matter what, he was SEC bound. But he wasn't just taking a football approach to recruiting. He was looking for things outside of sports. He said, I'm just looking for a school that has good instructors and teachers that will help me in my class for my degree. Then good coaches and no liars and all that. Bigsby said he was motivated to excel in college and in the game in order to provide a better life for his mother. And honestly, that is just awesome to hear. Two months before his commitment, it seemed absurd to think he would end up at Auburn. Many thought he was going to be a South Carolina lean, and if any team could steal him away, it would probably be the in-state Georgia Bulldogs. But quickly the narrative changed. When asked about Auburn, he said, quote, it's just different down here. They shoot you straight. It feels like family down there. It seemed that people and the culture of the program was the most important factor for Tank. As the seventh best running back in the nation, Bigsby ran for 2,221 yards and 22 touchdowns. He also averaged 9.3 yards per carry and was named the Class AA Offensive Player of the Year for those numbers. In the playoffs, he went absolutely insane, as in just four games, he ran for 778 yards and 8 touchdowns, literally putting the team on his back. He was also insanely athletic, as he ran a 4.4 in the 40-yard dash and impressed at pretty much every drill. Okay, so where would he end up going? Well, it was pretty obvious. He eventually chose Auburn over 33 total offers, including LSU, Georgia, and South Carolina. But why? He said, quote, just being there, the atmosphere, the coaches, and being around good people. They remind me so much of my own team. I felt I'm being around honest people, and it felt like home. He also loved coach Cadillac Williams and was pumped to play and learn from the Auburn legend. Both his teammates Tate Johnson and Keandre Jones were offensive linemen that would go to Auburn as well, and with Bigsby's commitment, they went from number 12 to number 6 in the composite rankings. It was the Bigsby would be the highest rated running back to commit to Auburn since Rock Thomas in 2014, and I guess in retrospect when he talked about it, he said that Auburn was always in the lead. He said it didn't really go back and forth too much, and while there were different schools along the way, Auburn was always at the top. He visited there his first time as a sophomore and went back multiple times since and felt different there than anywhere else. The Tigers were getting a gem, as one scout said Bigsby was like as complete of a back as you'll find in, the, in his recruiting class. And while he wasn't necessarily elite at one thing, he pretty much could do everything. According to 24-7 Sports, Bigsby was a four-star recruit, the number four running back, and the 40th best player in the, cl in the class of 2020. At one point, he was listed as a five-star, but he fell down the rankings. So, how would he end up doing at Auburn? Going into his Auburn career, Tank would have a lot of hype. He had high expectations for himself. He said, quote, I want to get down there in the fall, and I want to start. 
He'd end up having to compete with Jartavius Whitlow, Sean Shivers, and DJ Williams for the starting running back spot in 2020, yep. and he ended up showing pretty quickly that he was the best back on the roster. He in their third game against Arkansas, he exploded for 146 yards. He then had another 100 yards and a touchdown against South Carolina, and 129 yards and two touchdowns on the road against Ole Miss. During that three-game stretch, he became the first Auburn running back to run for three straight 100-plus yard games since Carryon Johnson. He also joined Elite Company as only three freshman running backs for 100 yards three times against SEC competition, and that was Bo Jackson, Michael Dyer, and Tank Bigsby. He ended up having two touchdowns against LSU before he would cool off their next three games. He'd finish the year with a career-high 192 yards against Mississippi State, giving him 834 yards and five touchdowns on the season. This also came during the shortened 2020 year, and Bigsby was the next big thing at Auburn. As a sophomore in 2021, he helped them get off to a terrific start. He went for three straight 100-yard performances in their first three matchups, combining for nearly 350 yards and four touchdowns, but unfortunately they lost on the road to number, number 10 Penn State. After that, he helped them beat both Georgia State and LSU to get off to a 4-1 and one start. After a loss to Georgia, he helped them win back-to-back -back games against number 17 Arkansas and number 10 Ole Miss. And the first year for Brian Harson was going terrific. From there, though, everything fell apart. They lost to AM, lost to Mississippi State, lost to South Carolina, and then lost that heartbreaking four-overtime matchup against Alabama. In that time period, though, Bigsby was still playing well, as he had two touchdowns in the Mississippi State game and had 164 yards in the South Carolina game. This would push him over the 1,000-yard mark, and he would add to that in their bowl game against Houston. He finished the year with 1,099 yards with 10 touchdowns. Hype was going to be ridiculous for him in 2022, but first, he'd have to stay there. He decided to enter the transfer portal, and many no believed it would, be, it would be a huge NIL bidding war for his talent. To add insult to injury for Auburn fans, this happened right after Bo Nix entered the portal. He would, Eventually, though, Bigsby would take, would take himself out of the portal, and what, and what convinced him to stay put was Cadillac Williams. Cadillac said, quote, When it came back down to it, Tank, Tank Bigsby loves Auburn. He loves being here, and he's made a name for himself, and I truly think that was something he never really wanted to do. I just think a lot of times the outside noise can have an effect on you. But when it all came down and it was all said and done, he felt it was best for him to stay here. Yes. So how would Bigsby do in 2022? Well, he started out hot with 147 yards and two touchdowns against Mercer, but didn't have that many notable games after that. He had 179 yards and two touchdowns and a loss to Ole Miss, and then had 110 yards and two touchdowns against Western Kentucky. For the most part, he put up decent numbers and ended up finishing with 970 yards with 10 scores. This time though, he was a threat outside of the backfield as he caught 30 passes. Also, to be fair, Auburn was a complete and utter dumpster fire last year, so to expect Tank to put up big-time numbers with that offensive line and, and everything going on there would have been too much to ask. Over Honestly, Tank, Tank overperformed during his three years there. He finished with 2,903 yards and 25 touchdowns and decided to enter the 2023 NFL Draft. According to NFL Mock Draft Database, Tank. Bigsby is currently the 106th ranked prospect First. and has ranked as high as 41st. He has a 4% chance of going in the first round, and the consensus is that he's probably going to go in the fourth round. This means he'd be a day three pick, and maybe he could slide up to day two, but more than likely, he'll be in that fourth to fifth round range. I think, though, he's going to be a steal. The guy sort of got screwed over while he was at Auburn, and despite all the tough circumstances around him, still found a way to produce against some of the best defenses in college football. Bigsby's one of those guys that may not may pop not. off the page, but he will be consistent, and in the NFL, he could be a great second option back. I think he's someone that everyone needs to keep an eye on, and could surprise some people next fall and the next few years. Thanks, it was great to get to cover Tank Bigsby's story, and it was awesome to watch him at Auburn, and I hope the best for him in the future. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.